It looks like Shannon Sharp is determined not to go down alone, as he's now dragging Cat Williams into his ongoing drama. In case you missed it, Shannon has been under fire for the past few weeks from some high-profile celebrities upset over the tea he spills on them. Allegedly, these celebs are trying to get his podcast shut down, but Shannon is holding Cat responsible, claiming things went downhill after Cat appeared on his show. He accused Cat of making up lies during their explosive interview, setting him up to face backlash. Of course, Cat Williams isn't one to let things slide, and he fired back at Shannon, calling him a fraud. This drama is heating up quickly, and it's about to get messy between the two. It's been almost seven months since Shannon's interview with Cat Williams dropped, and the industry is still buzzing. The video has racked up over 70 million views, proving it was a massive hit. You'd think the drama would have cooled by now, but it hasn't. Fans are still talking, and Shannon is still feeling the heat. Now, Shannon is trying to shift the blame, accusing Cat of trying to ruin his life and career. Ever since the podcast aired, it's been a whirlwind of controversy. Initially, Cat was the one facing the most criticism, especially from fellow comedians and entertainers. He spilled a lot of tea on various celebrities, which didn't sit well with many in the industry. They felt he was throwing shade and embarrassing his fellow black artists. But Cat didn't hold back, and some thought he came across as bitter, possibly due to past struggles in his own career. Kevin Hart even jumped in, dragging Cat on social media, calling him a clown who belongs in a circus. It's understandable given that Cat had accused Kevin of being a fraud who steals jokes. Cat also claimed Kevin's success was exaggerated, saying much of what Kevin shows off is just smoke and mirrors. This feud between Kat and Shannon has reignited and things are definitely getting intense. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? To be fair, Cat Williams going after Kevin Hart wasn't completely out of the blue. These two have had beef for as long as anyone can remember. It all started when Cat began talking about how the industry blackballed him for speaking his truth. For some reason, this really struck a nerve with Kevin Hart who then went on The Breakfast Club and claimed that Cat was blacklisted due to his drug addiction and being difficult to work with. That's when the drama started. So when Cat spilled tea about Kevin on Club Shay Shay, it seemed like payback for Kevin's earlier comments. However, Kevin wasn't about to let it slide, firing back by calling Cat a bitter clown who belongs in the circus. The tension between them has only grown since. Hey, hey, hey Kev, you, you didn't say nothing to Cat Williams when he did a three-hour uh, interview talking slow yesterday. <laughs> you didn't put a shot clock on him. <laughs> do, you, do you entertain the circus or do you watch it, Kurt? <laughs> there was a lot of back and forth between Cat Williams and the celebrities he called out during the interview, but here's the twist. While Cat was getting dragged from every angle, Shannon Sharp stayed silent. He didn't say a word to defend Cat or check the critics. He just watched as Cat got roasted. But as the saying goes, what goes around comes around. And now it's Shannon who's facing the heat. The same people who had a lot to say about Cat are now coming for Shannon, and he's struggling to handle the backlash. After his interview with Cat, it was Cat who took most of the criticism. But now Shannon is the one in the hot seat especially after his interview with Monique, where he criticized Tyler Perry, Oprah, and even Monique's son. This is when people started accusing Shannon of using his platform to stir up unnecessary drama between black celebrities. Some felt that his show was becoming a place where black artists were invited to tear down other black artists who weren't there to defend themselves. Dave Chappelle was one of the first comedians to call out both Shannon and Kat, saying, what part of the game is this? Why are they going after their own? Cat is one of the best in the game, so why are you painting such an ugly picture of us? Chappelle also accused Shannon and Cat of damaging the livelihoods of their fellow black entertainers, adding, I lost everything and never told on anyone, but now he's acting like the arbiter of truth. Once Dave Chappelle opened up the conversation, it became a major topic. 
people quickly shifted their focus from Kat to Shannon's role in the drama. They felt Shannon was intentionally bringing on controversial guests to stir the pot and boost views, and it worked. His interviews with Kat and Monique went viral and garnered the most views. If his goal was to attract attention, he definitely succeeded. However, other comedians like D.L. Hewley voiced their disapproval, accusing Shannon of being messy and allowing his guests to spread false narratives about others. The controversy has sparked widespread conversation about whether Shannon's show is becoming more about sensationalism than meaningful discussion. Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go to where she just got a wave set. Um, and so Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy ass video with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much in game weight unless every crunch you do has got Captain in front of them. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. Rapper Mays also criticized Shannon, accusing him of being anti-black. Mays pointed out that Shannon seems to have all this energy when it comes to calling out black people, but stays silent when a white person comes for him. Mays's comments highlighted a growing concern that Shannon is quicker to engage in drama within the black community while avoiding confrontations outside of it. You call yourself coming at me, right? You want to be aggressive with me, right? Listen. You showed poise, respect, wherewithal, resolve, compassion, reverence. But Skip Bayless, why are you so aggressive anytime somebody black say something? The man said, put your glasses on and you put your glasses back on. I have to admit, Mays made a valid point. Shannon does seem to show more respect toward white people compared to how he handles black individuals. This is the same thing Dave Chappelle pointed out, both Shannon and Cat Williams went after black artists, leaving white people out of the conversation, which led to accusations of them villainizing their fellow black men. Now, in typical Shannon fashion, he's shifting the blame to another black man, Cat Williams, claiming that Cat is responsible for how the interview turned out. Shannon said that Kat was the one leading the conversation, and he was simply asking follow-up questions based on what Kat shared. He feels it's unfair that he's catching so much backlash when, according to him, he was just doing his job as an interviewer. Shannon insists that he didn't force Kat to spill any tea or say the things he said, so if anyone deserves the criticism, it should be Kat. Shannon also hinted that some of Kat's stories might not have been entirely true, suggesting that Kat may have exaggerated or stretched the truth during the interview. Shannon explained that he always reassures his guests they don't have to discuss anything they're uncomfortable with, claiming this approach helps them feel more relaxed and open during the interview. I ask, I said, is there anything that you don't want to talk about? I always ask the guests that. Sometimes they say, well, uh, I would appreciate if we not talk about this. Cool, no problem, because I believe you can tell your story without saying something Best. negative. But yes, I believe. I believe a person that's been in a business, that's been doing something 10, 15, 20, 30 years, are more than one salacious story. Right. That's what I believe. So if they say they want to stay away from it, but if they want to tell something, who am I to say, no, nah, I don't do, you can't tell that. Right. People are up to the cam. When it came to Cat Williams, Shannon claimed that Cat was more than eager to spill everything with nothing held back. Shannon also stated that there was no way for him to verify what Cat was saying and that it's unfair he's the one receiving all the backlash. However, Cat has his own side of the story. According to an insider, Cat allegedly claimed that Shannon encouraged him to exaggerate and even make up stories to make the interview more interesting. And honestly, that doesn't sound like Cat. Over the years, Kat has built a reputation for spilling the truth about other celebrities. Thanks to him, we've learned about some of the shadiest and nastiest people in the industry. If Shannon was looking for someone to stir things up, it makes sense why he invited Kat onto his podcast. At this point, it's a lot of he said, she said, but fans believe Shannon is getting defensive because his podcast hasn't been pulling the same numbers as it did after the Kat interview. 
Now, it seems like he's trying to find someone to blame and Kat is the easiest target. Fans have been quick to comment on the drama, saying things like, The best part of Shannon Sharp's platform is that we can finally stop saying women gossip more because that's one messy man right there. Another fan wrote, Shannon Sharp is becoming the messy Batman. He gives great intros, but this platform is too messy. He needs to change the energy or he's going to end up hosting Asterisk Media Takeout TV Asterisk. And others added, Shannon did this to himself, trying to be the bigger batter Wendy Williams. Now every black artist is going to target him. So what do you think? Is Shannon too messy or are you team Shay Shay? And do you believe he's really accusing Kat of trying to ruin his career? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to check out the next video.